All right. Uh, thanks to our uh, Adam Shapiro, problem solved, and uh, Fox Business solved it uh, and addressed it. Uh, you're welcome, America, but enough of our bragging. What was at issue is they were opening up a lot of mail-in ballots in private. That was largely Democrats doing this without a supervision of a canvassing board that would include Republicans. Republicans went nuts. The Republican uh, Florida chairman, uh, Blaise Angolia, was saying, wait a minute, we've got to do something. It looks, thanks to Blaise's actions, that, that they have. So a crisis averted, or so it would seem. Um, Blaise, I know you want to first thank Fox Business, but don't do that. That's just what we do. That's, where, that's what we do. But, but what happened here? That, 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 was it ballots, mail-in ballots were being opened without members of a corresponding party watching the process? You tell me. Sure. So what happened was the supervisor of elections in Broward County was opening vote-by-mail ballots without the authority to do so by her local canvassing board. And the law says that you have to have at least one member of the canvassing board present when you open it. In addition, what happened was is they were limiting public inspections of the ballots to only 30 minutes. Now, basically what this but what this was in layman's terms is they were opening ballots in secrecy, in secrecy with no oversight whatsoever. In addition, they were leaving people no time to challenge uh, ballots if they thought that ballots could be challenged. So they would have had, not that you want to assume the worst, but they would have had uh, the power to do almost anything they wanted because no one was watching them. Yeah, that's that's right. And that, that's why we took swift action, and I sent that letter off to the supervisor of elections. Look, this is unheard of. It's really disturbing that it got this far, but we're happy that we were able to shine light on it. We're happy were that we have some sort of... Were they when this happened, or did they just say, oh, Blaze, we're sorry, we had no idea, or, or what? Well, they were flippant about it. They were saying they were doing it by the letter of the law, and they were absolutely not doing it by the letter of the law. Um, and the sort of proof for that is that they actually changed the way they count the ballots to the way that the letter of the law prescribes. So, so what now what now? we have. Go ahead. So, so now a judge is, who is a member of the canvassing board will be on hand every day from now up until the election to oversee the opening of the ballots. In addition, um, the supervisor of elections there allowed a representative of the Republican Party and a representative of the Democrat Party to be on hand overseeing the process as well. All right. Well, Blaise, it was one thing for you to get mad about it. It was up to Fox Business to shine a little light on the subject, but you're welcome for that. If there's any other crisis we appreciate that pops that, up, well, anything we can do. Um, but, please, thank you, seriously, for that. We appreciate it.